I look like hipster garbage. Hi everyone, hipster, hipster garbage, garbage here, the internet's busiest music nerd. And it's time for a review of the new LCD Sound System album, American Dream. This is the latest full-length album from one of my favorite bands of all time, LCD Sound System. New York indie-tronic and dance punk legends who dropped three pretty incredible records from 2005 to 2010. They're self-titled, Sound of Silver, This Is Happening. Their final album there coincided with a huge send-off, a farewell tour, a movie documenting the band's last days, and that last show at Madison Square Garden that they performed. LCD Sound System and their frontman and mastermind, James Murphy, gave the band a really grand exit, wrapped up in a very bittersweet bow. While it was sad and it was sort of aggravating that the band had to end so prematurely, leaving it at three great albums is certainly better than continuing to force it and then just drop mediocre material from there on out. But then in 2015, the announcement came that LCD Sound System was in fact getting back together. They couldn't even go a full decade broken up. And in the wake of the band reassembling, there's been a lot of skepticism, aggravation, and excitement too, and I've felt all three. But no matter what my feelings on the band reassembling are, I mean, James Murphy could show up at my place at 3 a.m. and say, Fuck you! I did it for the money, bitch! And if the album ended up being good, I mean, I'd have to forgive him for it because it's, it's, the album's good. However, that's not what I was expecting given the teaser tracks to this album called The Police and American Dream. The former kicked off like a really average New Order song, and the lyrics to me felt like a really weak attempt at trying to construct some sort of socio-political commentary. The messaging of the track just seemed really vague, kind of dabbling in like violent revolution, like the act of calling the police as some sort of challenge to anybody who would question or stand in the way of James Murphy and whoever he imagines getting together with him to, I don't know, like destroy the powers that be or eat the rich. But my primary issue with the track is that the longer it went on, the more I felt like I was just kind of sitting in a bathtub that was growing colder and dirtier. Because in my opinion, the band didn't really bring the progression, the clarity, the sharpness, and the spunk that I enjoyed on their previous releases so much. American Dream felt similarly underwhelming to me. It is a slow burner of the highest order. However, in the context of the track listing, I do think it's a pretty good ballad. I like the weeping, elongated synth leads on the track when I first heard them. I like them even more with repeated listens. And in my opinion, the track features one of the most compelling vocal performances on the entire record. And lyrically, the track seems to be about like a revolution that never happened, like somebody who thought that they were going against the grain, but instead were just kind of getting wrapped up in a haze of drugs and hookups. And now in light of kind of missing this wave, this protagonist here is just going to kind of give up on fixing the world and being a better person and just kind of become a miserable loser. Maybe the song American Dream hit me harder in the long run than Call the Police did because the revolutionary fantasy of that track doesn't hit as hard as the sad reality of this one. And the song Tonight, another single, a lot like Call the Police, starts off well enough. The instrumental is laced with these talk box vocals, these fluttering rhythm guitars, a gurgling synth bass line, but the groove doesn't really develop into anything exciting. To borrow a lyric from the track, it feels like forever. And the lyrics on the track take a bit of a chop suey approach, a lot like songs such as Pow Pow in their back catalog. James Murphy sings about death and artists obsessing about death. Uh, embarrassing images and factoids about oneself uh, lasting forever online. James' lyrics make some decent and smart observations, yes, but I feel like he undermines much of what he's saying with this little aside that he throws into the song randomly. James once again reminding us that he's losing his edge here, but at this point, I don't think he's losing it. He's kind of completely lost it. He's totally through the process of losing it, and it is now gone. Because he's the snobby, judgmental record store employee that society has no use for anymore. Part Partially because he cast himself and his band into the used bin before anyone had even really decided whether or not they were done with them. And now he's popping back up as if the world wasn't just going to move on. And while most people did, indie being the dead end that it was, has kind of left an unacknowledged void that nobody is really filling. So it's almost like LCD Sound System with this record is coming back around to provide comfort food for people who can't accept the fact that it's over. 
And I have to stress the, the point in the description of this album as comfort food, because I don't really feel like anything James and the band have presented here is all that challenging or fierce or progressive. James himself seems to admit this on the track Change Your Mind, where he goes on to say that he's not as dangerous as he used to be, he doesn't really have anything else to say. And nowhere on this album is that clearer than on the song How Do You Sleep, which at its beginning sound pretty interesting. I mean, it has some murky tones, some springy, echoed, spacious percussion, sounds like the start of a cool Joy Division track. And then the track grows into this sprawling, whiny musical exorcism where James Murphy is just like, I don't know, uh, moaning in this really angsty way about the deterioration of his friendship and business partnership with DFA co-founder Tim Goldsworthy. Obviously, Tim played a very big role in James' life and the success of the label, but um, I don't know, just the way that these emotions play out on this track, it's really obnoxious and it's not a good look. The track's airy and very patient buildup is not really that interesting. The beat that eventually busts in sounds like a leftover from their last album. And this track is not the only moment on this record where I catch like a hint of deja vu. A lot of the instrumentals on this thing feel like warmed over ideas from the band's previous efforts, but complemented with these really washed out echoey mixes so that they don't sound like they're kind of perfectly repeating themselves over again, which might be one of the worst things about this album. Because the sound of an LCD sound system song used to be colorful, vibrant, amazing, vivid. Orally, American Dream is just like average. I feel almost like they've reverted back to the production quality of their debut record, which honestly, in terms of just structuring the instrumentation and how the band would kind of pace pieces of instrumentation out as a song grows and progresses was much smarter. For example, on the song Emotional Haircut, the flat bass, the distant drums, the reverby vocals, everything in this mix sounds so plain. James Murphy's attention to detail and his incredible talent as a producer used to be LCD Sound System's greatest asset, and now it just doesn't seem to be benefiting them for whatever reason on this album. Like on the intro track, Oh Baby, which is one of the most tepid beginnings and build-ups to any LCD Sound System track ever. I feel like I'm listening to a version of Dance Yourself Clean that never actually, like, gets fun. And I cannot stand these vapid breakup lyrics. Jesus Christ. All of the odd, beautiful tension that the suicide song that this track is obviously referencing is kind of gone. James Murphy essentially replaces it with, I don't know, just sad desperation and a lack of expectations. Weirdly enough, it's some of the darker and moodier songs in the track listing here that really ended up impressing me. Like the song I Used To, it's a very somber track with eerie synths and these shimmering, stuttering rhythm guitars. The track features one of the most weary and depressing vocal performances on the entire record, which for LCD Sound System is kind of a refreshing change of pace, because there is kind of an emotional weight to this track that feels kind of new to the band. This feeling, this despondency is also kind of repeated on the incredibly sad Closer Black Screen, which is a tribute to the friendship that James had running with David Bowie before he passed away. Uh, there's a lot of regret in the lyrics on this track, James essentially singing about how he looked up to him and how he wished he had made more of an effort to connect with Bowie and make the best of their friendship. I think the minimal electronic soundscape approach to the track was a, a good idea. However, I feel like this song succumbs to a lot of the same subpar musical progressions and mixing that many other tracks on this record do. I mean, some of the synth leads on this track just sound like they're fumbling as if they're like, I don't know, somebody in the dark looking for a light switch. Though I do like the very sad piano passages that kind of take the track out. I don't know, I mean, I'm pretty disappointed by this album, to be completely honest. I don't know what kind of mental gymnastics James put himself through to psych him out of continuing with LCD Sound System in 2010. It's like he was scared of making the band's worst album or making music that was no longer in the spirit of what the band originally stood for. And despite every attempt at avoiding it, it that's exactly what the band does here. Still, James and company are able to muster a handful of decent tracks, they maintain a lot of their musical fundamentals, but this record is so obviously off the mark, and the only way that I could feel any other way about that is if I just gave in blindly to the hype. I know a band as significant and as smart and as interesting and as fantastic as LCD Sound System only comes along once a decade, and I'm totally fine with that. I'm totally fine with that. So I'm feeling a strong 5 to a light 6 on this thing. 
Transition. Have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best. You're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like. Please subscribe and please don't cry. Just leave an angry comment in the comments if you're angry, okay? That's the healthy way to deal with these things. Over here next to my head is, uh, I believe, my review of LCD Sound Systems. Uh, this is happening. Yeah, check that out. And um, I will see you guys in the next one, okay? LCD Sound System, American Dream, forever.